Audio hey, I'm Mark Loft, a senior editor of Post Magazine, and we're here at the Javits Center for NAB Show New York, and I'm joined at the Post booth by Codex, Brian Gaffney. Brian, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mark. So I'm a little bit familiar with the company, you know, going back uh, to some of your storage solutions. I know that you're always adding to it. You've got some new technology here at the show. Can you give our viewers a little bit of a background on the company for those who may not be familiar with Codex? Sure. Codex has been around for about 13 years, primarily as a recording solution for high-end camera systems. Back in around 2013, we actually took that recording technology into camera and are an OEM partner with ARRI. We also support other partners like Canon and Panasonic and develop other camera solutions. But ARRI is our main OEM partner and we develop both the media and the devices to actually get that media offloaded from camera, turned around quickly and stored on. You actually have a couple of props with you of, of yeah, the, representing uh, the RE. The current you know, media is a one and two terabyte capture drive that goes inside of the Alexa 65 or Alexa LF camera. High speed, uh, 2,500 megabytes a second, can hold one or two terabytes of high speed data. We also introduced the new compact drive at this uh, last NAB in support of the new Arri Alexa Mini LF. It is also one terabyte high speed device, but you can see the form factor is reduced such that you can take this and record up to 30 minutes of uncompressed Arri RAW on the system. Great. Uh, beyond the work with the camera manufacturers, Ari, I know that you've had the uh, Media Vault for some years now. Can you explain what the concept is behind it and how it fits into a post scenario? Sure. So Codex had, um, in addition to the capture media, devices that allowed us to transfer that media from camera to near set and on to post, a series of devices that we had called the Vault. Um, they could capture media, process, turn things around, do archival, etc. We've now created a desktop NAS shared storage solution that we call the Media Vault, which is actually just a storage system. It can hook up on a Linux environment, Windows, or Mac. It's general purpose storage. Uh, it doesn't have to be used with a Codex workflow. However, where we're seeing it applied is that in a shared work group, uh, especially around television production, where you can capture RAW or ProRes, offload it onto the Media Vault, and have up to four to eight users without a switch directly connect to it. The departments like editorial or visual effects or marketing, uh, asset management teams could actually get access to the files in an easy and quick way. How many seats could it support if you're using it in an editorial scenario, for example? Um, for playback bandwidth, we could do you know 10 to 12 streams of ProRes off the system, so you could have multiple users. It's designed for direct connect uh, over a network, okay. um, 10 gig, uh, up to four to eight users. However, I could add a switch, and I could then have unlimited users tie into the system. Okay. But performance and bandwidth, um, 10 to, to 12 streams of ProRes at you know, 444 HQ would be no problem. Okay. Uh, here at the show, NAB New York, uh, what are you guys showing as far as technology demonstrations or any products? We're showing a complete workflow around the new Area Alexa Mini LF and Compact Drive offloading to our Media Vault storage. We're also introducing a new technology called high density encoding. High density encoding can reduce the file size of the raw files by almost two to one, but without compression. It's a unique process that we developed as we record the files in, say, an Alexa 65 camera that's quite large. Uh, if you look at the Alexa Mini, they've taken away a lot of the processing power in the camera to reduce the footprint. But we can actually still record that uncompressed, high frame rate, large format file on the compact drive uh, without a problem. However, the bare pattern file is starting to become a little inefficient because we're you know smaller camera. So upon copy, we put additional compute power on it, and we can additionally rewrite that file, but reduce the size at the same time. It's the same file. You can do an MD5 on the original file, encode it, decode it, do an MD5, and they'll match. So we're creating a bit exact file at two to one in reduction, which is great for the show. Producers save money. DPs don't lose any image quality and DITs get to go home sooner. Is the value that you're getting more capacity onto the storage that you're using initially? Exactly. So our media vault you know, starts at 72 terabytes, but with high density encoding, I can effectively put 100 terabytes on the system. Mm -hmm. Amazing. If uh, somebody wanted to know a little bit more about Codex, is there a website we can direct them to? Yes. Um, Codex is uh, easily researched at codex.online. Um, we're also a partner company with PicSystem, 
Pix uh, acquired us uh, right after NAB last year. You can find out through PixSystems.com about Codex as well. So the ecosystem from camera to near set to dailies to finishing is all with Codex and Pix. Appreciate you stopping by, Brian, and sharing some of this information with our readers. Thanks, Mark. We're going to be back. Thanks.